this and any other pump apparently on the market, it's just a physics thing, cannot pull, this is the pull side, this is the push side, from deeper than 24 or so feet. So we're at zero PSI. There's also a PSI meter on the bison pump, zero PSI. You see, it's a beautiful pump. It was leaking a little at the top. I had to tighten this nut. This is the first, I've tested it, but this is the first time I've actually used it when the grid's been actually down. I mounted it with some white oak here against the wall, just drilled a, uh, bolted on a piece of white oak against the concrete, kept everything that's not white oak off the concrete because concrete rots wood. People are always putting wood against concrete. Bad idea, it just rots it, it always holds moisture. So this is white oak, there's always some moisture down in the basement here. But this is bomber, the way it's locked on. So we're just gonna go flip one ball valve here and uh, that's going to allow us, actually it's in the right configuration, this has to be closed. If this is open, we will not, we'll just be circulating water. Bison has a video about this that's good except it's only showing you what to do in a very specific situation. You have to understand the principle of what's in the video. That's a little tricky. Um, watch their video and just understand that basically if you don't install it correctly, you can just be sending water. You can be sending water in a circle, you know, in your utility room. You have to be able to suck it from the tank, the well, excuse me, and or spring, whatever you're pulling from. And then when you're pressurizing it on this side, send it into your pressure tank and have that whole root, um, including what's open in the house, closed to the well pump, if that's clear. That usually takes putting in a ball valve and closing that ball valve when you're using the bison pump and that ball valve is normally open when the bison pump's not in use. So the static water level in our well from this point of this well, or from here, I think, or maybe the sucking point, one of these two points, has to be no more than 24 to 25 feet from here down. So you have to have a shallow, um, you have to have pretty shallow water to make this work. And that's a good reason if you're looking at properties to choose a, a property that has a shallow the water and the static water level in the well is higher than 25 feet versus a property that's 100 feet or 50. If it's 30 feet deep, you can't do this. Okay, so we're at 40 here and the pressure tank is at Also at, oh, it's hard for me to see, but okay, pressure tank's also almost at 40. I can't get it quite to 40. They say you should be able to get it to 50. Now, I think my static water level might be just borderline. Um, I think at 24 feet, 25 feet, you can get it to 50. Maybe it's less than that. The shallower your static water level, the better, the more you're going to be able to pressurize your system. Okay, so here we're up at the sink, and we'll see how much water, usable water we have from, you know, I could, you probably do what I just did pumping wise in let's say half a minute to a minute. So there we go. And four pumps, we were almost there. Okay, so now it's slowing down. It slows down quickly below like at about 20, 15 PSI, it just goes right down. Okay, so that's a gallon. This was half a gallon. We had about a gallon and a half on 15 pumps. So that's a fast shower. If your wife or husband wanted a longer shower or a friend, you could go down and take turns and uh, one of you could read a book and pump five to ten times every half minute to a minute or so uh, or probably you wouldn't get much reading done but yeah pretty good um, for zero electricity <laughs> 